So then yeah, I will just repeat what I just said in couple word. The objective is of this project, it's to, how do you get to, how do you get to the browser? Go back to the browser. Yeah. Our objective is to duplicate this website. Moreover, we don't need all this garbage and we want to make this, this uh, chart to even uh, to, to be dynamic, meaning that I can have even two of them, the same things uh, for two companies. This one is really just one chart for one company, but I want to have two charts for two companies so I can compare them. Secondly, we want to use objects oriented in JavaScript. So we can learn about objects. How do we create objects in JavaScript? Okay. Third, that will be a leading to what we're going to do in the future. How do we connect it to a data from the internet, pull data from the internet and show it as a chart like that. Now, this is a special chart. Why is it a special chart? Let's take one of the, the one of them. Let's say this one, okay? Here, let me put the mouse here. It should, it should do something. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. This is like April 18, 2017, three o'clock. What happened in that day? Uh, this kind is called a candle. Why is it called a candle? Because the top of the bar, it's uh, the high number. It's the closing number. Let's say you have a whole day and let's say you have a price of Coca-Cola. No, Coca-Cola is not a good one. You have a share, a price of a share. Stock market open in the morning, they start trading. So in the morning, the way they started, that could be the price in early, early in the morning. When you see here, CLHO, OMI 26.12, that was the price when the trading started. The second one is the closing, the last one, 24.91. By the way, 24.91 is below 26. This is why the color is red. The color is red. He knows that if the price in the closing, it's lower than the, the opening, it will be in the color red. Let's take a different one. This one is green. Is that right? I'm colorblind. I think it's green. The opening was 23.5. The closing was 24.65. So therefore, it's a different color. Okay, the color tell me if the closing was higher than the open, and it tells me if it's higher than the opening, then it will be green. If the closing is below, it will be red, meaning that day people lost money, whoever hold that stock that day. Secondly, you ask, what is these two tiny lines? So, you know, the price over the day changing. So you can't really keep the whole data. You don't really want to keep all the data. So you look and you ask, what was the highest price that day? For this candle, it was 24.33. Okay, <clears throat> a little higher than the closing and the opening. And what was the lowest price during the day? It was 22.72, okay? You can tell 22.72. So the beauty here about this candle, it tells you how much it was opening how much it was closing, what was the highest price during the day, and what was the lowest price during the day. You will see we'll use it a lot in the future. Whether it will go with me in the finance and options trading and option and stock. This is a very popular type of chart. Okay? And it, it gives you for every day. We're gonna do every minute. And later on, I will show you how you turn this one from a daily chart to a mini chart. You can make even every, by the way, sometimes you, some very high traders do it even for every second or every 10 seconds, something like that. And how do you build it up? That's also quite an interesting. But what we're going to do is we will see that we're going to get rid of a lot of the stuff here because we're interested only in the candlestick. OHLC, it's very similar, but candlestick is the most popular. Secondly, the scaling. Scaling, there's two popular one, linear and geometric. 
We're not going to deal with geometric. It's inappropriate for this purpose. So we're going to remove or we're going to get rid of that possibilities. Column, okay? Also, you know, it doesn't really make much difference. Two colors is enough. So we're going to get rid of that one. We don't need a border. So we're going to get rid of this one as well. Mixed, we're going to get rid of that one as well. So we're going to get rid of all those selections and we leave. So we're going to remove all of those stuff. So we have a clean bar. Secondly, we don't really need that one. This is really good for you. You already have it in the, in the first page. So the link for this one, you already have it in the first page. So we're going to remove that one as well as we go along. Our objective is to end up with a nice chart, only a chart in which we can change the title. We can add more sticks and we can add sticks that can, when I click on a button, it will be able to add more sticks. It will be more clear as we go along. So that's the objective of this exercise. So how do we go? Stage number one, we definitely, we go, we steal the code. So we did right click, view source, we copy the whole code and we built up an application in Django and we copy the code as here Daniel did and we have another candle one is the code. We copy that to here and he did the whole thing need to be done and you guys know it's from certificate one and definitely after certificate two, you have a view and when you get to candle one, which is this one, is that right, Daniel? Yes, sir. So this one basically bring me this one. And when I get to it, I take which one is the, the view, this one, yeah. So, yeah. and now my question is, why when I, when I go to the one that I generated, I don't get it, okay? It doesn't look the same. This one is working, this one is not working. And this is a very good discussion, Daniel, to open with the students. And you can immediately can spot, it's very good summary for certificate two. By the way, you can tell, well, look at that. This one, we have the header, we have a body, we added to the body the button, and in the body, we have several code, 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 and then we have a JavaScript here. And by the way, the JavaScript here, when I look at that index.js, where is this library exist? This is a library of JavaScript. Moreover, we have also libraries here. This is also a library, but this library, we have exactly, we know exactly where it is. I can take this one copy it, go into here, and it will come out. Let me just take the, it will just come out as a page, as a document. Hey, it doesn't like me, why? Why it doesn't like me? Okay, that's not a JavaScript. What? It's not a JavaScript. Okay, I will make it work, don't worry. Okay, let me go to here. <coughs> Let's do right click. That's even another one to demonstrate it. When I look at this library, I can click on it. Okay, click on it. Open a new page. And it will show me the page, you see? It looks like garbage, but this is really a code. This is a JavaScript code, okay? On the other hand, when we go, by the way, it's a big one, so it's, can you close it? Yeah. Now, let's do the same things with our page. After all, our page has the same code. Let's do right click, view source, and we go to the same library. You see this one, this was the first library. You see the 26, I'm going here, 26 and click on it. Works, beautiful. So 
That's not what's causing the problem. But now I want to try something else. I want to go all the way down. We have index.js in our web page. You see it's a 127. This is really our project, is that right? And we're going to the one that we see it working, okay? And it has exactly the same structure. It's exactly the same page. Let's click on this one, the index. Here it works. What happened in ours? That's if it's in our case, it works. Go back, click on it. Doesn't work. Hey, we got an error. Why? Anybody want to guess? Of course it's not gonna work because this one is relative. Here, when I click here on their web page, it takes it relative to their page. You see that? This is their page. So when I click on it, look at that when it's open. Okay, it's gonna open. Pay attention the way it's going to open. Chart, GS, chart, finance, slash index GS. When we open it on, on ours, it's opening up. Oh, that's all. Right. When we click on this one, look at what happened. It's trying to, it's adding it to the end. And we don't really have a link like that. We are Django. So that doesn't exist. So what do we do? So that's why we're going step by step in the next pages that I show you, okay? So we know that this one cannot work in Django. So when you steal a code, you do really need to know how you're gonna use it. So just copying the code and use it, it's not gonna help you. You have to do more than that. You really have to understand how Django works. So this one is not a problem. All the one that has a direct link, it's not a problem, that will work. But this one, okay, it's not gonna work. The one, the next one, this one is not gonna work. Moreover, this one is fine. This one also not gonna work, okay? Because it's relative to their page. So it's not gonna work, okay? This one is not gonna work either. So this one is not gonna work, this one is not gonna work, and this one is not gonna work. All those three is not gonna work, we have to do something about it, okay? And this one is very clear, this one is not gonna work. So how do we do it, okay? So let's see what we have in chart two and candle two, what the addition that we did. See what I did, oh wow. You see a lot of stuff here, am I right? What is all of that? So I did, I went step by step. And this is really for teaching purposes, okay? So if you look at the same things as candle one, the code in the candle one, the only things is I changed. And that's for the reason why I did it this way. You will see in a minute. I took this line in the bottom which is really this library. And I said, instead of calling the library, I would just take the code. I'll just take, I would delete the whole things here. Okay. And instead I would put the code inside. So I need to go and get the code. How do I go and get the code? So I go here and here's the beauty. Their code, I know it's working. Is that right? So I'm going to click on this one. And now this time, I'm gonna take the whole code here, copy it, and copy it. And when I copy it, it's like having this library here. So what I did is I took this line that they had in candle one, where's candle one? Yeah, here we go, candle one, okay? Instead of this line, I deleted it, I went here, I deleted it basically. By the way, if you don't believe me, I will do it again. It's just basically taking the whole things. You can delete this one. Okay, you put script.
and I took the content of the page and put it here. You see that? Does that make sense, Daniel? Yes, look, it does. Now, now I don't have a problem. I don't really need that library. I have the whole code here. That's what we did. That's what we did in Canvas too. So this one solved the issue of the fact that I, the, 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 if I just wanted their website, I wouldn't have done it that way, but I'm gonna work on it much more. I'm gonna make a much better web page than they did, okay? That's why I copied it. But for me, that solved this issue. So for now, this one is done. We have this problem solved, but we haven't done with those ones here. We have to deal with, these ones are okay. Is that right? And we have a problem with these ones, correct? So how did I solve those ones? Pay attention, the solution here was different. This one, I said, let's do it in Django way. What is Django way? Stage number one. I have to put that one in the top, so it's turning it to a template. Am I right? And I can use static. You see the static? Lot static? Yeah. Yeah, you're familiar, certificate one. Am I right? Okay, now what did I do? Very simple. I said all three, that's, the, that's what we did here. Beside this one that we did, beside this one, uh, just a second, sorry. Let me just close it. Okay. So one library, we, we copied the code inside. The other one, the other three, I intentionally using it in different ways. And I will explain. First of all, I turned it to have all those Static library, international large, CMS sticks, menus. I might not use them for now. I'm not going to use them either, but static, I definitely going to use. So I'm going back to here and I said to myself, okay, let's look at their website. They have those three libraries. The first one, it says chart. Uh, this is the library. This is the GS. Let's click on it. This is basically a document, am I right? Yeah. Okay, what can I do? Can I put it somewhere? Definitely I can. And we know that we want to put this one maybe in the static library and then use it. Is that right? Yes, no. So I cannot use their location. I don't want to use their location either. I want to copy this page and copy it to well, copy it to well. So I'm gonna copy it and then make the link. So let's look at where did I put it? You see it says GS, chart GS, chart GS, chart. That's the name of the library, is that right? And since it's in the static, I know exactly where I wanna put it. I also know that this is the name I'm gonna call this library. So I need to go down to my static folder. What is the static folder? Is that, this is it? Is that right? Then? Okay, under this static, I'm looking for the GS. Here is the GS. And for some reason, it seems to me this is the top level. No, this is the top level. I want the one below under the academy city. There should be another one. Yeah, here we go. This is the one I'm looking for. I go under the GS and under the GS, I should have what? A library called GS chart GS. Okay, that's why your website is not working. It cannot work. Because you don't have, first of all, you don't have this, li this library here. Am I right, Daniel? Yes, sir. 
So I'm going to do what? Do a folder. So I'm going to do a new directory. So I'm adding a new directory. This is the name of the directory. Is that right? Bingo. And under the directory, I'm going to put this library. And what is this library? What is this library? Hey, I know. I know how to steal. I'm a good stealer, don't I? Here it is. This is the library, okay? So I'm gonna do right click, save as, and I'm gonna save this as a file. And where is that file sitting? You lead me. It's going to be in the projects, isn't it? Where is it? Where is it, Daniel? If. In the if. If. In here? Then we have projects, and now we have development, and then we have Academy City, and then we have static, and then we have the folder we just created. What is it? That's not the one. No, GS. Is that right? I need GS first. And That's a it? It's a different one, doctor. Ah, okay. Which one is there? Yeah, I need to go one below. Is that right? Yes, below. And then I go to the GS. And then I go to this. Here we go. Here it is. So this is the name of the file. Is that right? Yes. And just to be cautious, so I won't screw it up. The same exact name as it is here. Doesn't matter how they call it. I can call it whatever I want, by the way. I just want to make sure that when I'm here, I give it exactly that same name that I want it to be called. So now I save it. Now that I said that it's there, now that I saved it, how can I test if I did okay or not? Okay, I can refresh. I can do right click, view page source. And now when I take a look, what do I see now? I have, where is it? Okay, we were, we were working on the second one. On the, ah, you're right, you're right. So I have to go home again yeah. and go on the second one. Am I right? Yeah. Beautiful. This is a good way, by the way. Hey, it works now. It didn't work before, am I right? Yes, it was not working before. Yeah, but now we know why. Yeah. Is that right? So I recommend for yes. teaching purposes, you will remove it and put it with the students, okay? Because this library needed. And now, and by the way, this is the jungle way. Yeah to tell him what the library is. Am I right? That's the beauty of Django. Hold a second, why I'm not getting down? Yeah, here we go, I wanna go down. Oh, he doesn't like me. Here we go. Okay. Same idea, Daniel, I stole the image. You see the image? Yeah. I stole the image and I put it someplace, just instead of under GS, I put it under images and I put that picture. How do you steal the picture? It's very simple as well. You go here, you go to their website because they have the right link and you go to the image. Here is the image. I click on it. You got the image. I do right click. Save as, save image as, and you put it under the directory of images. Am I right? You go all the way, you go into the static, and you go to the image. Is that right? Yeah. And you put it there. Okay? I leave it to do it yourself, okay? That will be a good exercise. You have the recording as well.
okay? Last one that we have, it's the style. You see that one, it's a style. It's kind of as a stupid page. I want to just for instructions point of view, you can make the same things and make the link. Another way you can do, just copy, like we did with the code, I can copy and go to this place. You go to this place, you see what I did? I put style, you see the style? Yeah. And I copied it to them. Bingo, everything's working now. Got it, you just have to put the image there, okay? I don't know why he's using the image either, but you just do it for yourself, then you make sure. That's stage number two. It's taking the code and making it working in Django. That's the objective, that's what we achieved so far. Is that clear? I think it's, and you added the button, so it would be nice. So it's working, and by the end of this session, everybody know how you really take a page, you turn it into the project, you put it as a page that actually works. You just make sure you have the image as well. I leave it to you. I intentionally didn't want you to save it there. Okay, so now we have really a working project. Is that right? We have a really working project. This is this one. It is your page. Is that right? Yeah. That's beautiful. So now you start and saying, well, what do I need or what I don't need? And by the way, certificate three should work too. You know, if since we already downloaded it. No, I don't know if in in this one. What did I give you in three is also working. Why? Because I did copy it there. Let me see what oh, it's number. Let's close this one. Yeah, number three, you have it. Probably I gave it to you there. Let's close one, two. And let's close. I don't really need those ones, am I right? Let's go back to the project. Let's look at number three. So what do we do in number three? Okay, we have now everything's worked. We have Django the right way. We have the style the right way. Libraries work. By the way, I did change slightly. I changed the library to a newest one. I just searched it in the internet. Instead of 100, I think they had, I just changed it to 021. It's a little newer, but it's really just, just to make the adapter to be a little newer. That's it. Okay. In fact, I copied that from a guy. It's in the list there, you can see his video. And he looked at the newer one, so I imitated what he did. So I replaced the first one and the last one, the second one, I think it's the same. And I just replaced those to be a little newer. But look at the video, okay? It, it will work also if you don't change them, but I did, okay? So we are all happy with the everything's here. And now we're starting to do some other things. Okay, okay, we try to understand what this code is about. Uh, just one second, I need to take this phone call. One second. Hello? Alan? Hi, Metsuya, what's your name? Oh, you're a philosopher. Hi, Metsuya. Okay, no, no, bye. Okay, so Daniel, we already want to understand this code, don't we? So let's look at what we really have here. We start with, we have a viable call. You know, we look in the JavaScript, that the library we copy. Is that right? Hello, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> You know, what I recommend, the truth of the matter, it's getting lo long and I want to finish the stuff before the trading tomorrow of the options. But I think in this point, what I recommend you do, it's a good exercise for you. Try to understand what this code is about. But let me help you a little bit, okay? It's a library. There is existing a library. By the way, this one is just linked to, you know, to a chart, a place in the, in there, they call 
chart. So you can go up, scroll up, and go into the body. And there's a place called chart. You see that? Yeah. And there is a, something called canvas. Canvas, we never really used that. I used it a lot in other places, but canvas is something you can paint on it or you can make images on. Okay? So you can, you can, under, I think a lot of the stuff here might be hard in the beginning for you, but you can start understanding. So it's taking this component, it's changing the size of it, and then is calling a function called random, blah, blah, blah. I need to take this phone and we will continue tomorrow, okay? Or the day after. Hello? Okay. Just like the car had Okay, Daniel. Okay? Okay. okay. Take it from here and then we'll continue maybe tomorrow or the day after. I recommend tomorrow if you can. I know you have a class tomorrow. Fair enough? Yeah. Okay, make it as a nice two sessions. Thank you. Have a good one, Daniel. Bye, Brenda. Bye, everyone. Bye.